Well, here we are the day after Thanksgiving 2021. I'm um, driving back from my parents' house. I thought I'd stop by and look at this cover crop on a couple of the other spots. This was after the wheat. Uh, we harvested uh, spring food grade wheat. Came off uh, middle August. And there's some volunteer wheat is what you're seeing here. And then down in here, you're seeing a little bit of the radish. I put uh, radish, turnip, winter pea. I don't see a whole lot of winter pea in here. A little bit. We had a, had a hard frost the last couple of nights. I think it was down to about 15 degrees. Maybe 10 degrees here last night. Um, but I wanted to come out and... There's some growth here. I mean, the radish and the peas are still growing. They haven't been killed off. They're Austrian winter peas. They might be able to make it through the winter, but the, uh, the radish and the, and the turnip will, will die out eventually. Um, there's a decent enough coverage. You know, I've got a living, a living root here, and um, the wheat's all dead, been killed, but so this is 10 acres here, and then we'll go around the corner. I'll pause the video. We'll go around the corner and look at the the hilly part. I don't know if you can see some of the rocks and the fence line there that I ended up digging up. We just ripped this after the, after the um, wheat came off before the cover crop was drilled in. Um, yeah, some of the rocks. A pretty decent sized one right there. So I tried to, with the loader, get him as far into the trees as I could before I dumped him. And I'm sure all along this fence row there's trees. Okay, I'm going to hit the pause button and we'll pick you up on the next field. Okay, back in the other field, the uh, hillier ground. Part two of this, I guess. Because it's like 17 acres. Equipment crossings back down there by the man. I do have a grass waterway kind of going along here and along here because this is highly erodible uh, ground according to the FSA. But um, again, it was the tillage radish, and the turnip, and uh, winter peas with the residual. So there's a, a radish, or there's a radish rather. There's a turnip. Looks like some of these are still barely alive. I don't know if they're going to grow anymore, but um, it is the end of November. The wheat's all, the volunteer wheat is toast. Not seeing a whole lot of wind. There's a little bit of winter pea in here. It was 15 pounds an acre is what went on. There's a decent cover here, and um, like I said, the, the brassicas will winter kill, and the winter peas might make it through. But it'll get disc down next spring, and they'll put turkey litter on this, and then this will be soybeans. So the other field I showed last time is just on the other side of the homestead, which I, I don't own. Somebody else owns that 10 acres, but there's sort of a grass waterway you can kind of see going through that as well. Um, that's part of this. So grouping of fields. But I wanted to come and just check this one out. I hadn't seen it. I haven't walked in this. So let's say, oh, here's a nice big bit of size of that. Take a look. It'll come up. No. No, it won't come up. It's in there. Got so, some decent growth. Hopefully, again, this would just ripped as well and pick rocks out of it. So the idea is to break up some of the compaction. I had a lot of foxtail and weed pressure on these fields. Um, this ground is the poorest of what we farm. And um, trying to uh, bring it back up to what the others produce. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next, the next video, hopefully. Thank you.